by the way. My fingers were totally crossed. Welcome back to the state of Kansas. And tonight we are going to the Baltics. What are the Baltics, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. Not only are they the home to completely unpronounceable last names, the Baltics encompasses Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and all sorts of stuff there's no way in the world I can pronounce. Like right there, L-A-A-N-E-M-A-A. La I don't know. No clue. As always, Universal Yums include a nice selection of snacks, and they can include, they include these fun little factoid things. Kind of a, you know, neat little stuff, you know. They got some here called, uh, the article I just opened up to is called Make the ultimate Estonian comfort food. What the, what the hell? Hockey. Yeah, not even going to bother. So, you know what? We're just going to jump right in. First, we start with uh, lentil snacks with maple bacon. I was watching an episode of Iron Chef one time. And the announcer for Iron Chef ruined the lentils for me for my whole life. Uh, he's an Asian man. He had a bit of an Asian accent. And he goes, today's challenge is rentals. And ever since then, every time I see a lentil, I think rentals in my head. Oh, so quite literally they look like chips. In which case, you know, for America, what, what, the, America. what the fuck is a kilometer? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, for, uh, it probably looks like a fry. Oh, my lord, take a sniff. Oh, man. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, no, these definitely look like fries, though. But that I, looks like a... Uh, yeah, it looks like a fry, but it's been, like, deep fried, like, ten times. Looks like French fried tater, and it's light. It's very, very uh, fluffy. It's a lentil snack with maple bacon. Remember that? Oh, we got it. Got to hold it like it is in the picture there, okay? This is how we have to do it. Remember how... Remember uh, the Kitchen Nightmares episode to where... Shit. Um, the people were selling the potato skins, but not the actual potato. Yes. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is something else. Okay. Leroy Jenkins. God, dog it. Okay, that is not good. Ah! Ah! I never thought bacon would be bad, but that makes bacon bad. It just tastes like dry bacon. And it's mostly air. Oh, air with like, ah, oh, it's just not good. Yeah. Yeah, your breath is gonna smell terrible. Probably. I and mean, I'm still recovering from the India one. I gotta tell you, after this a little quick update from all that Indian food we had the other day. A couple hours later, after we got into it, I went to the bathroom. That made for one fragrant poop. I'm like, and I walked by the bathroom later. I'm like, oh, I smell curry. Oh, that's right. Right. God. You know what that smells like? What? You'll never get laid with breath like that. All right. Let's try something new here. I lived in Europe for a long time, and I don't recall ever seeing uh, long chips. Long chips? Creamy mushroom. Uh, okay. But scary. Like I saw the side only, so I'm like, oh, okay. It just looks like your average, like uh, one of those fancy chips or whatever that tastes. I don't know. You'd put it on some kind of dessert, right? But then I see the mushroom, and that's what scares me. Yeah, they got some writing on the side here. It says, uh, "Boil potato, mash them, roll the dough. Ten seconds, the best quality oil. Voila, done. Uh, product of Latvia." Don't know much about Latvia. Been to the airport once. That's about my experience with Latvia. So, God dang, bud. Oh. Oh, God, dude. You've got to. Yeah, please don't burp in my direction again. So I'm going to do that again. That was bad, man. Oh, okay. Let's get this opened up here. Long chips. And we're getting a, a visit from our friend, Sig the Cat. Hi, Sig! Sig, come Sig. on. Ow! Claws, buddy! No, uh -huh. let him jump up. Well, go over there. Travis wants you. 
God, dog it. Hi, Sig. Ooh. Hi, buddy. Want to be in the video? You can let Sig come up. That's fine. Everybody meet our friend Sig. This is Sig. He's the uh, neighborhood cat. We feed him and let him have a uh, nice little box on our patio because we're cat people and we love kitties. Obviously, anybody who's seen our fucking channel knows we love kitties. <laughs> Well, you want to lay down, buddy? There's a long chip for you, a long chip for me. Sig, what do you think of long chips? It's like, fuck you. <laughs> Looked away immediately. Yeah. Oh, man. And first off, I will say, I don't like how thin this, this it, is. It's... Sig, um, buddy. He's fine. He's good. All right, so let's, uh, let's try to show ourselves off here, okay, shall we? Yeah. Let's do this. Ooh. I actually like it. Surprisingly, that's good. I couldn't agree with you more. Oh yeah. It's okay. got a nice little tang to it. I could taste some mushroom, but it's not overpowering at all. You know what it's like? It's like the Pringles um, sour cream. I was just trying to come up with it. I thought, like, Pringles, but uh, that's not... Oh, now, don't go ham on them, because we don't want to cloud our palates. Well, so, I, um... What? That, okay, that was a waste. That's for the birdies. Can I get the birdies a snacky boo? No. Uh, okay, so let's cleanse our palates. Because that wasn't bad. That is giving me hope. Thank you, Latvia. <laughs> ben. Oh. And again, I think anything would be more hopeful than what we had last time. This is a chocolate bar. It is per galley. Excellent since 1952. Let's see, where is this a product of uh da, 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 da. it does not say the country uh lithuania product of lithuania okay so let's give this biatch a shot is it going to give mr beast a run for his money speaking of feastables i accidentally bought one of the uh ones with the what do you call it um crispy rice on it the other day Nice. Say what you will about Beast. That's some good-ass chocolate. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, things last forever in Latvia because can't open them. Oh, fuck, dude. Don't do that again. <laughs> Unless you want your father to vomit on your face. <laughs> there we go. All right. Ooh, this looks promising here. This looks like a nice... Big ol' chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. Smells divine. A chunk for you. Mm -hmm. I see when we open it up here, nice little thing of uh, caramel and some type of uh, cookiness. So uh, no, let's go for it. This is the uh, Per Eagle from Lithuania. All right. Mm. Bit disappointing. What? It's not bad. At all, but it's so light and fluffy. Oh, nice. It tastes like air. What? There's really no, nothing to it. What? I'm sure it's 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 very light, very fluffy. There's nothing. It's not bad, but there's nothing exceptional about it. it just tastes kind of like a standard milk chocolate bar. No exotic flavor. No. Oh my goodness, Lithuania makes great chocolate. It's all right. Yeah, in that case, I'm very vanilla because I like it. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's all right. I mean, if uh, I'm ever in the Lithuanian airport again, I'll, I'll get one for you for a laugh, but I don't think I'll ever going to go out of my way and be like, oh my God, I've got to get some of that. Now put it down for you. Fill up your mouth, dude. We're having a taste test, not nuts. I like it. Pretty damn. All right. Let's go back to uh, different things here. We got some uh, Latvian chips. These are the uh, Adazu, if I'm pronouncing that right. Look, I know there's going to be a shitload of mispronunciations in here. That's just the way it is. Dillies. Dill pickle chips. Dill pickle chips, okay. Yeah, they kind of look like ruffles. Ruffles have ages. Hmm. And uh, 
And away we go. Let's give it a shot. Leroy Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, one thing I will point out. So I think with the... Yeah, the nutrition factor is flat out just like put on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of different, different little things. They do it different in Europe over there. I guess they just stick a sticker on. Either that or maybe it's for us dumb Americans. Huh. And then the, the actual nutrition facts are what they have in the bank. Stupid Americans. I mean, hey, we kind of are, so. Sometimes. Uh, One for you? I'd say... Woo! I think it's 60-40. That smells a little bit pickly. Ooh, damn. Woo! Holy shit. It's like just snapped a pickle jar. Now, like, the actual chip for me doesn't smell that. It's like smelling the whole bag. Yeah, smelling the whole bag. Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't open a bag of those in the car. Because, you know, let's say you're eating those and someone gets in, they're going to be like, dude, did you just shit? You know what I mean? Oh, All right. Yeah, well, if your shit smells like this, and I, I don't know. There might be some issues. Yeah, that's true. would be like, dude, you need to go to the clinic, okay? You need to get that checked out. Yeah. Have you gotten your prostate checked lately? God. All right. Let's go. Tastes like anything. I taste a hint of pickle. It tastes like a Ruffles potato chip. Yeah, I'm gonna go to like deeper in the bag. I'm gonna go deeper in the bag and see if I get more pickle out of it. <laughs> I mean, I taste pickle, but it just smells like a. What smells like? Tastes like a Ruffles potato chip with just a smattering. Yeah, it, smattering. It, it just tastes like your average like potato chip to me. I don't even taste the pickle. Yeah, nothing. Honestly, that just lumps out. So far, the lawn chips have been the best thing. I mean, just, I mean for standard chips, are pretty good. They're not bad. I'm, I'm, it's, I'll equate it with that chocolate bar. It's not bad, but I'm not going to like go out of my way to get them again. Dude. <laughs> are you trying to ruin your palate? We are professional taste testers here. That's more like a palate cleanser to me. We are professional taste testers doing a professional thing here. We've already had the cat show the world his asshole. Okay, so let's, you know, the cat's trying to show off his OnlyFans. You're eating a half a pound of chocolate. Let's get let's get serious here. Did you just clap at me to try to get me to in line? Try and get you focused. Let's go. All right, I'm choosing this time. How much is left? Only three pieces. All right. Well, all right. It's the... No, the... The no, uh, Nomida. Nomida! Nomida, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I know this is eat, uh, this is the Baltic states. It's part of Europe, but some of this stuff sounds very Asian. Nomida. Mm -hmm. Nomida. Oh, Nomida. No. <laughs> Nomida. That sounds like, you know, something you'd say, like, to someone in Japan when you see them on the street. Said, how you doing? <laughs> Nomida. So, uh, let's see. What is this from? What is this from? Where is this from? This is from Vilnius, Lithuania. Once again, we are going Lithuanian. The Nomida from Lithuania. A lot of us here. Okay, okay let's start, start off smell test. Very, very fruity. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very fruity. So, uh, I see what looks to be like a, uh, I'm kind of nervous about this, not going to lie. That's why I'm kind of uh, waffling here a bit. I see what looks, looks, looks like a little bit of jam or some preserves in it. Uh, well, come on, we got to get going. We're reviewers. I made you, boy. Uh-huh. Remember that. Uh-huh. Salute. Horrendous. Oh, God damn. Finally, we got something that was gross, and I could do a real spit take. It was overpowering with uh, some type of fruit, like a really tart mango. Very crunchy. Kind of taste that felt like I just bit into like a styrofoam cup. And the dark chocolate, just not a fan. Not a fan at all. Yeah, yep. That's rare for me. At first, when I took the bite, I didn't like it, but then the more I let it sit as I was chewing, I actually liked it more and more. I found a weird thing, because I tasted more of the fruit. Beforehand, I just tasted the 
the hollow chocolate. I'm just like, ah. But then, then uh, the fruit kicked in, and I actually began liking it. Your generation is truly lost. That was horrible. Uh-huh. You're just going taste. All right. Man. Here we go. Oh, another thing. Little stickers from Universal Yums. All right. We got Pergali chocolate here. This is another Lithuanian thing. It's got a pineapple, apple, and cheese with dark chocolate. Pineapple, apple, and cheese. That's a combination I never thought I'd ever think of in my entire life. Hey, let's have some pineapple, apple, and cheese. But, you know, in post-Stalinist Europe, I guess, uh, I don't, who knows? That's just weird, dude. I'm all for, you know, respecting other cultures, but who the hell puts pineapple and cheese together? That's like cheese on a pizza. It's just wrong. Mm. Not cheese. Sorry, pineapple on a pizza. Excuse me. No, I had more chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can you can have the bigger half on that. Some tells me this is going to be a... Mm. But yeah, dark chocolate, man. Huh? Yeah, I'm not the biggest dark chocolate me guy. Neither. All right. Shall we? Uh-huh. All right, let's go. Uh. The chocolate itself is not bad. For a dark chocolate, it's semi-sweet, but not... Ah, God, it takes a while and the butt fruit kicks in. The fruit is just yuck. Ah. Pineapple and apple together? Uh. That's just not a winning combination, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, if I am ever in Lithuania and someone uh, offers me a Parag Paragale bar, just in the immortal words of Nancy Reagan, just say no. Just say no, Travis. Mm -hmm. Say no to drugs and say no to this. <laughs> I don't even think the squirrels are going to want that. Oh, well, six definitely. <laughs> the cat went over to investigate. All right. Last but not least. Probably the least European sounding thing that they have here. Grandma's legendary wafer cake. Where does grandma's legendary wafer cake come from? Once again, Lithuania. Instead they should have Universal Yum should have just said, Hey, we're giving you a box of Lithuania. You know? That's kind of where the whole thing came from. God dog it. That's some nasty ass fruit in Lithuania. Seriously. Grandma's legendary wafer cake? Boy, that, that that just surely sounds Lithuanian. That sounds like a whole bunch of culture right there, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Sure Let's does. go to Lithuania and see Grandma. <laughs> I mean, I know they're all a bit Americanized because they want to sell them. But still. There's one for you. Mm, okay. One for me. This does look interesting. The appearance is not bad. The smell is not bad either. Um, is this dark chocolate again? Um, it looks like it's got some dark <coughs> chocolate on the top mm. with a caramel. Caramel. See, I say that right? Mm. Caramel. And a crunchy wafer. Salute. Mm. Last one. Salute. No. What the fuck? Ah. That was not at all the texture I was <sighs> God, dog, that's like, I would imagine if I took, like, the sponge that's in the kitchen sink mm -hmm. and I bit into that. I expected, like, a hard crunch. I expected a satisfying crunch. That was... It's not even a crunch. It's just... Bleh. I mean, the crunch, the texture itself is so weird, it kind of throws the whole thing off for you, doesn't it? A little bit. It's not at all anything I expected. Yeah. So... We've had, so far on this channel, uh, about six different boxes from Universal Yums. I'd say four of them they got right. The two they had did not get right. I'm sorry, the UK. The, the UK box was not great, because the UK, having lived there for a long time, I can tell you, definitely had a lot more to offer than was in that box. Okay, It was kind of a bunch of off-brand things. I don't think anybody really, with any UK knowledge, put any effort into it. Same thing with this one. Uh, you know, I've been to the Baltics before, and they've got some amazing stuff over there. Uh, amazing, beautiful, warm culture. Thousands upon thousands of years of history. So I'm sure they got some good snacks. 
and some snacks that are affordable to box up and send out. So, uh, Universal Yums, you've gotten it right about four out of six times. This one, I hate to say it was a bit of a loser. Um, please don't let this review put you off of uh, stuff from the Baltics. Like I said, there's a lot of amazing food and treats from there, but uh, old Universal Yums kind of shit the bed on this one. Your thoughts? Uh, I mean, partly the same. I mean, there was one bit of chocolate that I really liked, obviously. I finished it on camera. But the other ones, I, I then again, I'm not a big dark chocolate person. I've never liked it at all. But it, it doesn't matter what it is. I just, I just don't like dark chocolate. But, um, I mean, besides those chips, the other ones were fine. I mean, I'm still eating these. Yeah. And it was just, I, I just think it was there's... okay, but nothing spectacular. Yeah, they're, they're... The selection just was not great. There's so much more to that amazing part of the world than just this stuff. This is all shit you get at a gas station. It's not something that's, like, special and unique to there. Like, where they let us down on the UK. The UK. Galaxy bars, hello. They did the UK one without anything from Galaxy Chocolate. Yeah. Anybody's been to the UK and had Galaxy Chocolate knows what I'm talking about. And so it's kind of the same here. I'm sure in any of those three countries, they've got something like that. This just Radma's legendary wafer cakes. I, 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 there's nothing Baltic about that. So um, as always, I thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your lovely emails. As always, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, salute. Subscribe for more.